Hi guys, Ken Mercer here. In this video today I'm just going to quickly uh, show you how to fix or service a mixer uh, that's uh, not working correctly. Uh, this is my mixer that I've already started to take apart. Uh, it's a Mackie um, Mix 8. This is what I use for my live gigs. And um, I've had some problems with uh, some of these uh, pots becoming a bit crackly when I adjust the volumes. And uh, I'm in the process now of taking the whole thing apart. It's quite a long process. You've got to take the sides off. Uh, these these little panels here come off uh, with some screws. Then you take the uh, the base plate off, and uh, and then there's a very long process of undoing these uh, these little nuts here and taking the washers off. Then there'll be a couple more screws uh, around on the uh, on the top of the mixer. Uh, that will allow me then to release the uh, circuit board. So I'll show you uh, very briefly now how I do that. And all you're going to need is some sort of uh, contact cleaner like this one. So let me get close up now to the board and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I've already loosened all of these uh, and now I just need to uh, undo them all. Okay, so I'm going to undo a few more screws um, that will release the uh, the circuit board. And also, um, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a, a couple of um, these little bolts that you need a, a hex wrench or an Allen key for. So I'll need to find that. Okay, so now the last uh, bolt has been taken out. I can gently uh, lift the main part up and uh, we're left with just the uh, open circuit board and we can see clearly our potentiometers are all here. In one hand I have one of these buttons to go on here so I can turn each one to spray liberally all over. Don't be afraid to use too much of the stuff. Try and go from the top. If there is an opening in your mixer underneath or any sort of hole where you can get the spray inside the, the potentiometer itself then spray it, then just put your uh, little plastic uh, dial on the top and just rotate it back and forth until it loosens up. So here's a little secret I'll share with you. If you have a potentiometer that wobbles around like a loose tooth it's going to crackle even if you clean it because it's not spinning where it should be. So this is um, causing the wiper to sort of lift off of the disc and it's not making contact properly because it kind of bounces around as this moves. One of the things I do to fix this problem is to take a small pair of pliers or a pair of cutters. If you, you know, we're only putting a little bit of pressure here so we're not going to cut anything. Okay, But what I do, I place my pliers around this metal casing here and I just give it a little bit of a pinch not too hard because if you do it too hard then you won't be able to turn the dial very much so just just go gently with it and uh, you know just try a little bit at a time just come around to the bottom of it and just give a little bit of a squeeze and then feel with your finger and that's done the job already it's very very stiff and rigid now put my dial back on here now it turns but it's very very rigid now like like it was when it came out of the factory so every now and again you need to open everything up give it a good clean and uh, just pinch the base of these uh, potentiometers to uh, to keep it nice and rigid and you'll find that it doesn't crackle anymore and it works just like it did when you first bought it 